Welcome to our estate sale preview this week. This week we're in Edmond, Oklahoma, right off of Bryant and 15th Street, and kind of a fun little house. Uh, the house is also for sale, so there's information on the house at, you know, at the sale. We are going to start in the garage this time. We've got this antique oak desk chair. We also have several cabinets, several things in the garage. This is kind of a fun, funky sale. The parents had stuff here and then they moved away and then the kids were going through college and they just graduated so there's some younger stuff and also some older stuff here. We have the super nice, this is a fireproof safe, file cabinets, really amazing condition, it's really nice. We have this big black side-by-side uh, -side refrigerator. Uh, next to it we have a pair of really large speakers. We've got an almost brand new Cobalt electric lawnmower. It's really nice conditions, really nice. We have lots and lots of chemicals. Over here we have a chainsaw. And they he was a uh, championship chess player, so there's lots and lots of chess boards. There's probably 10, 15 different chess sets in here. Um, there's a punching bag. There's some miscellaneous tools, lots of bicycle type stuff. Uh, hanging up, we have a Bianchi uh, bicycle that we're going to be selling. Then there are some newer cameras and older cameras. Uh, if you're an OSU fan, we have a whole box full of brand new OSU koozies. Lots of party stuff, you know, because he was in college, so there's lots of party items, parts of glassware. Lots of just really kind of fun, youthful items and things that would appeal to, you know, teenagers or uh, young people. Uh, really large speakers. There's two or three different separate subwoofers also, plus a surround sound system in the house. We've got uh, lots of inexpensive furniture. We have this pair of chairs. Uh, over here we have the Makita drill. We also have a big folding table. We've got this little mini dorm fridge, uh, Ozarka machine, and lots of, you know, miscellaneous items. In the master, uh, we've got this uh, queen-size bedroom set. It is it has the dresser, the cannonball bed, the armoire, and a nightstand. And there's lots and lots of little knickknacks and decor. We've got, it comes with mattress, box springs. We've got a uh, stereo over there. Uh, this really cool kind of World War II era uh, picture. We have lots of young men's clothes. Uh, most of it size medium, some of it size large, but a lot of it, you know, it's kind of the taste of what we call, you know, 20s, 30s, uh, someone who's in their 20s or 30s. There's also some ladies' clothes. Uh, we have lots and lots of little laptops. Uh, older laptops and maybe one or two that are a little bit newer. We also have, like I said, film cameras and digital cameras. And we have a Bernina uh, vacuum cleaner. This cute little uh, bookshelf right here. We have a blow dart and we also have, this is a rattan sword. So if you do faux uh, sword fighting, we have lots and lots of books. A lot of so the books are, we have college textbook type stuff. We also have lots of really interesting books on history. There's lots of items here also that are with the Jewish faith. Uh, so there's lots of menorahs and that type of stuff. We've got, this is kind of the office area. And more books. Uh, we have DVD, CDs. There's actually CDs in probably three different parts of the house. There's a lot of CDs. We have this super cute little... Uh, roll top desk. This is actually a cylinder desk, so it's actually a one piece that silk that comes down, but it's a really cute little reproduction. So next we're going to go into um, kind of the little workout room. So we have lots of workout equipment. There's some like hand weights. Uh, there is this little pull up bar thing. So if you're doing your pull ups, we have lots of records. Lots of the records are from set the 70s and 80s. Uh, there's lots of outdoor patio furniture. We can't see because it's dark. But there's also a four-person dry sauna in the backyard that's about 10 years old that we're going to be selling. Okay, and 
this room we have part of a sectional. They took part of the sectional and left this piece, but we also have a violin with this really interesting primitive drum. We've got a, a coffee table with some more chess sets. In the dining room, we have a 1920s uh, Gothic style dining room set. We have this blind china. Over there we have the buffet and we also have six chairs and the big leg table. I mean, it's really, really cute. The table needs to be refinished, but the other two pieces are in really great shape. And lots and lots of fun little knickknacks. There's some old quadruple plate. Um, we've got a huge set of Russell Wright dinnerware. Some of it, most of it's in coral, but we also have the gray and some chartreuse. This is part of it. This is mostly the cups and part of the tea set. The other part of it's over here. So we have, I mean, pretty much everything you can imagine to make a big set of it. We have. This is a daisy and button. It's the large punch bowl with the gigantic tray. The thing's probably almost two foot across. On the dining room table, we have another chess set, a uh, menorah with this really large set of china. It's a service for 10 with all these serving pieces. It's really pretty. And the holidays are coming up in just a couple of months. So if you need a set of china, it's time to start looking. We have some really nice kitchen wares. Lots of big heavy-duty Pyrex, some Corningware, um, with two huge knife sets. And we've got a Ninja, uh, some blenders, you know, that type of stuff. So if you need some good kitchenwares, you know, this is the place. And we're selling this small refrigerator in this really cool wine rack. So you just put wine in it and it holds it upside down. It's really kind of cool. And I'm saving the best room for last, so you have to hold on to the video. Uh, we, there's actually a basement, and I'm going to show you the basement. There's actually some cool stuff down there. Um, in this room, not a lot to show you in this room. We have some costume jewelry. And then we have this kind of kid's furniture. It's uh, painted white with the bamboo or rattan design. It's got the dresser, the nightstand, the bed. We have a full-size bed in a king size or queen-size frame. And the we have this pair of washer and dryer. And then in the front bedroom, we have some more chess sets. Um, we have a, a small mask collection, a small elephant uh, cl figurine collection. We have this little uh, almost mid-century style desk, a little reproduction ice box cabinet. And we've got this cabinet here. And then there's lots and lots of games. There's lots of games and puzzles in the closet and also in this cabinet, plus DVDs and this little op uh, office chair. Now we're going to go down to the basement. Like I said, I'm going to see the best room for the best room for last. And down here we have this fun peacock chair, we have a uh, little desk, we have another bookcase with lots and lots of books, we have another full-size bed with a metal frame, and a coffee table, and we've got this little um, bachelor's chest over here, we have a really super nice electric piano, it's a Yamaha, it even has the foot pedal which you don't normally see in a lot of the uh, electric pianos, and we have another bachelor's chest on the, the little counter we have some more CDs and DVDs and stuff and now we're going to go into her kind of her collectible room she collected American Brilliant Cut glassware and I've seen a lot of glassware her glassware is really truly exceptional so if, if you're an American Brilliant Cut collector these pieces are really exceptional they're all perfect no damage there's some Hawks cut there's also several other pieces that are being just really amazing. We're also selling these cabinets. Uh, these are Thomasville cabinets with the sliding fronts. There's a pair that match. Uh, the other one's behind me. I'll show you that. So, pardon the fact that it's dirty. We haven't got a chance to actually clean the glassware, but there are some really exceptional pieces. It's hard to, it's hard to catch a uh, brilliant cut on film. It just never looks the same as it does in real life. But it's some really super pieces. 
uh, we have a hawk's piece, which is which has the sterling uh, collar that holds up the vase. Some really neat pieces. Uh, we had this 1930s little uh, Art Deco curio cabinet, and I think that's a George Burns uh, or Greg Burns print. And over here is the other cabinet. Hard to get, I can't pan far enough away in the room, but like I said, it's an identical matching cabinet that is also, it's Thomasville. And like I said, she has just exceptional, uh, huge pieces of cut, cut to curl, cut cluster, <laughs> cut to crystal. Uh, this piece is the green cut to clear. It's a massive and very heavy piece. And then the other pieces. Uh, I think most of it, most of it's hobnail or hob and hob and star pattern, I believe. Anyway, that kind of sums up the quick tour for the video. Uh, there's there's one more bookcase here. Lots of kids books also. So if you're looking for kids books, uh, younger people books, or some really fun, interesting books, this is really going to be a fun sell to come to. Anyway, that's a short tour. If you get a chance, make sure to come out to the video or come out to the a state cell and you can actually see everything and it looks a lot cooler than I can actually show you on the pictures. Bye bye.